Good morning, my dear children. In this module, we will discuss the rest of the topics of numerical solutions in the chapter National Income and Related Aggregates. In our previous module, we have discussed about the GNP and how to calculate with constant prices and market prices. Here we will discuss about the net domestic product GNP and its related aspects. What is this net domestic product? Net means something we have deducted from. So what we have deducted that we are discussing today. So while calculating GDP, no provision is made for depreciation allowances. It is also called as capital consumption allowance. In such a situation, gross domestic product will not reveal complete flow of goods and services through various sectors. In this GDP, the depreciation is not taken into account. So, in this net domestic product, a part of it is therefore set aside in the form of depreciation allowance. When depreciation allowance is subtracted from the gross domestic product, we get net domestic product. So, to calculate NDP, the formula is the GDP minus depreciation. So, this is the formula to calculate the net domestic product. So, in the GDP, just we are only calculating only the C plus I plus G plus X, isn't it? That is exports minus imports at last. But here net domestic product, the depreciation allowances also we are taken into consideration. So when depreciation, you know what is depreciation? Depreciation means that is the wear and tear of all the tools and the machines or equipments that we use in our factories. Isn't it? So that depreciation allowances or that, that depreciation also we taken into account while calculating the NDP. So that net domestic product here, what is deducted? Yes, that is to calculate what net domestic product, gross domestic product minus depreciation. That is the formula. Now, we will just discuss about what is gross national product. It is a wider concept compared to the gross domestic product. Gross domestic product is confined to the domestic or territory. But in this gross national product, it is defined as the sum of the GDP and net factor incomes from the abroad. Thus, in order to estimate the GNP of India, we have to add net factor income from abroad minus income earned by the non-resident in India to form the GDP of India. So, once again, let me explain. To In order to calculate the GNP of our country, we have to add the net factor income from abroad minus income earned by the non-residents in India to form the GDP of India. So, the formula to find out the GNP equals GDP plus NFIA that is net factor income from abroad. So, I hope it is clear. Next, let me define what is net factor income from abroad. It is actually a difference between the income 
received from the abroad for the rendering the factor services and income paid towards the services rendered by the foreign nationals in the domestic territory of a country so that is also a difference i told you the net means it's something related to what deductions so here also it's a difference between the our nationals earning income in abroad as well as non residents earning income from our country so this is actually net factor income from abroad next we'll discuss about net national product if the net factor income from abroad is positive then nnp will be more than ndp if the net factor income from abroad is negative then nnp will be less than ndp and it would be equal when net factor income from abroad is zero so nnp equals ndp plus nfia that is net domestic product plus net factor income from abroad this is actually net national product so i hope the session is clear for you thank you children for watching this video